happy morning children how are you i hope all you are fine this is pushpalada your english teacher work as in satsai high school in previous video we discuss about some dialogues or sentences which is useful to communicate in english today we are discussing some more sentences which is useful to communicate in english see this one first one is what did you do last week what is the meaning of this question what did you do last week last week what did you do this is in past tense then you are answered in past tense also i visited to my grandparents i visited to my grandparents means you visited to your grandparents house or to meet with your grandparents met with your grandfriends the second one what do you do in this week in this week see here this is present tense in what do you do in this week i will read some stories you can answer like this i will read some stories in this week means you will do you will read after some times or next day in this week you are reading stories the third one how old are you if you are met with your friends you will meet with your friends you ask how old are you you answer like this i am 6 or you can answer i am 6 years old i am 16 or i am 14 like this you can answer that one how many brothers and sisters do you have how many brothers and sisters do you have i have one brother and two sisters if you have one brother and two sisters you can answer like this i have one brother and two sisters if you have no sisters then you can answer i have one brother and no sister if you have no brother and two sisters you can answer i have no brother and two sisters like this you can answer what is your father what is the question what is your father means what is your father doing what job your father doing you can answer my father is a teacher if your father is teacher you can answer my father is a teacher if your father works anywhere in office then you can say answer my father is work in as office or accountant or like this what is your father's profession you uh, mention there the answer i am reading once again what did you do last week i visited to my grandparents what do you do in this week i will read some stories how old are you i am 6 or you can answer i am 6 years old how many brothers and sisters do you have i have one brother and two sister how many brothers and sisters you have you can answer this when you mention the numbers there what is your father my father is a teacher or which work your father doing you can mention here that work okay now some more dialogues here see question do you have any doubts in your class when teacher explain the lesson or any doubts or any thing uh, they if she completed the lesson then she asked you if do you have any doubts then if you have doubt you say yes i have if you have no doubts then you can say no i don't have this is shows is one person if whole class will be answer then no we don't have like this <coughs> second one when is your birthday anyone ask you when is your birthday 
my birthday is on 28 july when your birthday the date you mention here my birthday is on 28 july when you answer this questions when is your birthday my birthday is on 28 july before the date you mention on what is your favorite subject my favorite subject is science every students have different subjects so many subjects is there every have one interesting subject all the students not loves all subject that's why if you are interested in science you can answer my favorite subject is science if in another one is answered maths my favorite subject is math my favorite subject is english my favorite subject is social like this you can answer this questions and you can answer like this also science is my favorite subject maths is my favorite subject english is my favorite subject or or uh, drawing is my favorite subject like this you can answer do you like to dance if the teacher asks or anyone your friend asks you do you like dance yes i like if you not like then no i don't like but all the students like dancing that's why all are answering like this yes i like do you like to read religious books religious books yes i like to read ramayana if you like to read ramayana you can say yes i like to read ramayana you can like to read any another religious book yes i like to read bhagavad gita yes i like to read bharata like this if you like the another religious book yes i like to read bible yes i like to read quran like this you can answer i am reading once again to all questions do you have any doubts yes i have no i don't have if you have doubt yes i have if there is no doubt no i have i don't have when is your birthday my birthday is on 28 july remember this one before mentioning the date you can use on what is your favorite subject my favorite subject is science or you can say science is my favorite subject maths is my favorite subject or my favorite subject is maths like this do you like to dance yes i like or you don't like no i don't like do you like to read religious books yes i like to read ramayana or yes i like to read bible yes i like to read quran like this see children here some sentence do you drink water when you visit anywhere or anyone ask you for water do you drink water if you want if you need water then you can say yes i drink if you didn't want you don't want water drink no need then you can say no thanks this is very polite only generally we are saying no but you can say no thanks that is shows you to politeness come here generally we are using come here that is not correct way could you come here to show the politeness of sentence or in english you can say could you come here can i borrow your textbook if you want to learn the textbook if you have not then you ask to your friends if you uh, can i borrow you te your textbook then that is wrong could i borrow your textbook could is mentions politeness could i borrow your textbook or would i borrow your textbook like this you can speak leave me alone when you are very busy or you are inconvenience then you are answering leave me alone that is not in the correct way sorry i am a bit busy now you can answer like this sorry i am a bit busy right now the last sentence we are introducing one new word today is very sultry sultry is new word when you are feeling very hot that sultry means very hot 
टूडे इज वेरी हॉट वेन यू आर फीलिंग वेरी हॉट देन यू आर सेंग टूडे इज वेरी शेल्ट्री शेल्ट्री इज द न्यू वर्ड फॉर अस शेल्ट्री मीन्स वेरी हॉट वेन यू आर फीलिंग वेरी हॉट और वेरी सफोकेशन इन समर डेज देन यू कैन आंसर टूडे इज वेरी शेल्ट्री और आई फील वेरी शेल्ट्री दैट इज द न्यू वर्ड फॉर अस शेल्ट्री द मीन्स वेरी हॉट suffocation okay okay children you learned so many uh, dialogues in next session we will meet again with you some more dialogues some more phrases which is very useful to uh, you for learning communicate in english in your daily life we are sending some worksheets related to this dialogues so do practice in your house thank you